Hey guys, Adam Rosworth here. Welcome to the channel. In previous videos, I went over Facebook ad types, um, how to set up your first successful ad. And in this video, I'm going to show you Facebook audience targeting exactly who you want to target with your advertisements, right? So we're going to get right into it here. Uh, as I said earlier, I went through Facebook objectives, ad types in previous videos. So if you haven't watched that, go and watch that before. And in this video, we're going to go over audiences. So to go to audiences, you'll go to your ad set level. All right, so we're in the ad set here. This is where we're going to do all of our targeting. We're going to choose our Facebook page that we want to use. We're going to look at the daily budget or lifetime budget of our ad itself. Uh, so there are a few things that you want to look at with the audience targeting. So first is obviously the location you want to be targeting. If you're a local business, if you're a real estate agent, a loan officer, um, you want to target a geolocation where you want to work, right? So if you're a real estate agent, you work in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, you want to choose wherever you want to work in DFW, right? Um, you don't want to go too broad. If you, if you do a 25 mile radius, you're not really speaking to one specific neighborhood audience. Um, so I would choose maybe a five to 10 mile radius. Uh, if you're in a more rural area, you'll want to choose a, a little bit larger of an, uh, of an audience. You want to do probably like a county or, you know, do 15, 20 mile radius. Um, when you're scrolling through and, and choosing your ad set here within the audience, what you'll want to notice here is you want to choose this first. So choose, you don't want everybody in this location. You want people who live in this location. So we're going to choose that. And then you want to go off of where you want to work, right? So if you're a real estate agent and you want to work in say Frisco, Texas, you'll choose that. And then you'll narrow that audience down to 10 miles. And that's probably going to be good for where you want to work, right? You'll want to work within a 10 mile radius. If you want to work in within a five mile radius, just drop a pin right next to that and choose five miles or whatever, right? Six, seven, eight miles. Um, that'll kind of narrow your audience. You can see here the potential reach is at 170. Uh, a good amount of reach there is right around 100,000 if you're going after buyer leads, uh, seller leads for you real estate agents out there. Uh, I wouldn't go higher than 50,000 on the potential reach on that. Okay, so scrolling down here, we're going to choose the age. The age is highly dependent on what you are looking to to do, right? What, what is your goal of the ad campaign? Uh, are you looking for first time home buyers? If you, if you are, you're probably looking at, you know, 26, 27 years old to uh, 35 to 40 years old. So I would choose 26 here on the left hand side, 26 to 40. It's probably a good first time home buyers range, right? That's kind of safe range. Typically it's, it's 28 to 35. Um, but that's that's kind of a safe range. It gives us a larger audience to work with. Um, and even here, if, if we see 62 and we're going after buyer leads, I would even just expand this out and see what you get. All right. So then we're up to 180. Um, that works. If you're looking at first time home buyers, um, well, first of all, I only speak English, um, so we're going to choose that. And then uh, going into first time home buyers, what does their demographic look like, right? Are they married? Are they not? Um, you know, do they have little kids? Do they not? Um, what is their income range? So if, if they have a certain income, what are their interests and behaviors based on that? Are they going out to nicer restaurants? Are they, you know, do they have premium credit cards? That kind of thing. Um, that's that's going to take a little bit of work on your part to really refine that niche. If you're working for, if you're wanting to get seller leads, you know, you can't do homeowner targeting anymore. So you'll have to get a little bit more specific. So if you want to do property taxes, that's something that, um, property taxes, that's something that homeowners are obviously interested in. And then you can click on that and then do suggestions and just see what happens, right? So property insurance is probably a good one. Homeowners insurance is probably a good one. Um, you know, real estate appraisal, if they're looking to sell their home, they want, might want to know the value of that. And then, you know, just demographics of people who are selling, right? So if they've already have a home, they probably aren't 26. You know, they're probably more in the 35 to 55 range. 
Um, and then you just kind of go off of that, right? If you're in the mortgage space, what you can do is target a whole state, right? Instead of targeting a geolocation, you would just say, I want all of Texas. Just choose Texas, people who live in Texas. And then from here, you can do a much larger range. I would do like 26 to 50. And then I would do people who are interested in mortgage, right? So mortgage loans, mortgage broker, um, mortgage insurance, mortgage calculator, mortgage broker, mortgage specialist, mortgage bank. I would choose all of the interests over here. I would not choose the job titles because then um, you're, you're going to be actually targeting mortgage brokers and mortgage loan officers then. So I'll choose all of the interests of mortgage loans, right? And then just go down through those pre-qualification. You could even do house hunting. Uh, and then what I would do if you're doing the whole state, obviously this is a million, um, your potential reach is almost 1.5 million. So then I would layer it, right? So I would do a narrow audience. So I would say people who are interested in mortgage calculators, pre-qualification, mortgage loans, uh, house hunting, moving, that kind of thing. And I'll layer that with demographics. So um, people who are interested in mortgages who also are married, right? So we would choose married here. And then let's see what that gets us. That gets us down to 640,000. That's actually a pretty good audience for a statewide campaign. Um, I would choose anywhere from 250 to 500 is really a sweet spot for the statewide campaigns. But what we can do here is we can exclude people, right? So National Association of Realtors, if you don't want real estate agents, National Association of Real, just so that we don't get people who are just looking in to see what we're doing with that, right? And then you can go through and do mortgage, loan officers, and choose job titles from the exclusion audience. Um, you're going to have to choose a bunch because there are a bunch of different options and, and the size of these are not all that, that big, right? So you have to go and choose a bunch of these and that'll exclude and get you down to right about 500,000. And that would be a perfect range for a statewide um, lending campaign. And then the next thing you can do is save this audience. So if you want to, um, if you want to use this audience over and over and over again, and you don't want to have to go in here and do this every single time, you can just come down here and click save audience. I would call this what it is, right? So mortgage interests, Texas, first time home buyers, right? Something like that, that actually gives you, okay, these are the interests I'm targeting. This is the area I'm targeting, and this is um, kind of the niche that I'm targeting, right? Or you can do, if you, if you were to do that real estate one, it would be um, like open targeting. So we didn't do much with interests, demographics, or behaviors. So it'd be open targeting, Frisco, eight mile radius, uh, first time home buyer, right? Uh, or you can do, you know, um, homeowners, if, you're, if you were to do the seller ones, right? So that's what I would, I would name it. You click save here. And then to be able to do that, I'm going to call this example audience save. And then you can see here, you, you're just using your saved audience. So if you want to go in and create a new ad, you would just go in. This is going to be uh, cho chosen on default. You just go in here and click use a saved audience, click example audience, and you would have all of those there. Right, and then the last thing you want to do is if you have a lot of leads that you've been getting, well, either through you know Facebook, Instagram advertising, or through Zillow or Realtor.com, and you have a large database, you can actually go and upload a custom audience into Facebook and target just those people. So if you go here and click on the menu on the top left, and then hover over all tools, and you go to audiences. Then what you can do is you can upload that audience into your asset library, it's called. So you just click on create audience here, click uh, custom audience. And then from here, if you have that database, if you have that customer file, you can choose customer file here. There are also some cool things that you can do if you've got a lot of traffic to your website and you have your Facebook pixel installed, you can do website traffic. You can also do people who engage with your Facebook business page 
or your Instagram page, right? If they're watching your videos or they're clicking on all of your posts, you can click on engage with your uh, Facebook page, Instagram page. Uh, for this, we're gonna choose customer file and then add customers from your own file. And then from here, if you have a CSV file, then you can just upload that file or you can just copy and paste all the names and emails. Really, what you want to choose is uh, first name, last name, email, and phone number. Uh, if you have any of that information, that's what you want to upload. And then again, if you want to go back to your ad and use this um, audience, you would just go to the audience. We're going to click continue here. You would just go back to the audience and use a saved audience, and then you would just use that uh, custom audience. So you would just search in here just like uh, this example audience. You would search in here, you know, uh, database and it would pop up right here, you would click that, and that would be the audience that you're targeting. Okay guys, so that is audience targeting within Facebook. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.